Well, that's comforting. And who knew that it happened that often? Welcome, my friends. Welcome to another aimless adventure. No, these are not my glasses. I found them over there in the parking lot. And they're all jacked up. But this place is even more jacked up. And by jacked up, I mean awesome. Because if you like trains, I got them. Sit right back and let's get our adventure on. Boulder City, something or other, train museum. I was just driving by and I had to stop. So I think it's time we explore more. There's nobody here. Let's do it! Normally you see signs that say, stay off. Oh wait, I guess that's what that giant red thing is there, Captain Obvious. Dang it, why'd I think anything different? Now, I'm the first one to say selfie six or sticks are stupid when I can talk that is, but man, one would come in handy right now. This steam locomotive was built back in 1923 by Baldwin Locomotive in Philly and was retired in the 1960s. That's crazy. That's a long time working. Yeah, this bad boy was used up in Northern California. I think it was the Pacific Railroad uh, for hauling big old jumbo uh, redwoods. That explains why it's massive. It appears that this museum is free, but donations are welcome. I'm not sure that that was a legit railroad company. Check out this behemoth. Man, that thing's huge. These wheels, man, I'm like 5'10", 5'11", and these come up to basically shoulder blade area, or collarbone rather. Look at that. If anybody out there watching this video knows anything about trains, throw some comments <clears throat> and give us some, some new knowledge. This one's a mail train. Check this out. It's the old letterbox. Oh, we might be able to get our creeper on. Yeah, I'm sitting here doing creeper cam and I look and there's a enter here sign, so I done lurked. All right, that's pretty crazy. I was reading this little plaque down here and it talks about the mail exchange where 
I guess this arm sticking out here, they would snatch like outbound mail and then they'd boot out the uh, mail being delivered to whatever town. That's crazy. Check this out. I've heard this story before. I've seen the dog, Oni. He was so popular with the uh, railroad. Check this out. He would make so many runs. They put tags on everywhere he'd be. <laughs> and it was weighing him down. But anyway, he later got sick and they didn't want to uh, bury him. So they stuffed him in. Check it out. He's kept on display and then forwarded to the Smithsonian Institution in 1911. Nothing weird about that. I guess that's why it says watch your step. Ooh. The deuce caboose. I didn't know they had the DVD players back then. That's cool. Got the scale and the bags. I wonder which, I guess that'd be the door that dude would just, the door slides over this way. Um, maybe that's the one he uh, hung out. Yeah, because there's like that arm, see out there? There's the arm in that picture. That's super cool. Some of you may remember the last time I was in a train and tried filming. Oh, if you haven't seen it, uh, it says Clark County Museum, something or other. Uh, Mark Hall Patton, dude from uh, the museum. Sometimes you see him on Pawn Stars. Anyway, he's in there as well. But yeah, go watch me get my head split open on that video. I believe it's at the very beginning. So if you don't want to watch the whole thing, just watch my nugget get jacked. It's worth a laugh. Wasn't funny at the time, but it's funny now. One thing's for certain. My jokes are weak. And that's a safe bet. Hey -o. Check this out. I guess that's the be the fresh water dealio. Right here. I wonder if uh is that hooked up? Nope. Looks like we can go on this one too. That's pretty sweet. Insert your favorite joke here. Here's your uh, tidy place to get snug. I guess, I don't know, maybe that's a bunk, man. I guess those are bunks. This is all that keeps you from uh, falling out. Well, these boys had them a stove in here. Coal, of course. More bunks. Schnazzy little desk. This is pretty sweet, man. It's freaking cold in here. Uh, 
Well, that's uh, life in the caboose. I always love those lights. You see those a lot in uh, like a little antique and uh, random shops. Check out this beastly thing. That's a big one. What is this thing? Looks like some hoodlums got up in there and busted the window. Went full on loser. That looks pretty cool. Let me see if I can get us some creeper cam up in there. Now let's try a couple down, see if we can get it. What's that? Uh, a commode, I think. Oh, this is like a parlor car or something. What's up in there? That looks nice. Might be able to get a better view through this thing here. I was wondering what that was. It's my face. Sorry about that. That's a pretty snazzy little car. This is a generator car. I'm not sure what that means. Because I'm not trained, uh, learned. This is your regular commuter train, I'm pretty sure. I wonder if we can get on that thing. Here's some pricing info if y'all are interested. I think I found out the address to where I'm at. If and you're looking for it. Check this thing out. It's like you can cop a squat on those benches. And this thing, this little mini train thing, jams around. Mm. I do not see any don't enter signs. Damn. Imagine that thing coming down on you. Woo! Oh, man. That's the dinner car. Check us out. Way down there. It's starting to come together. I'm pretty sure this is a train I was on many years ago with my kids and Mrs. Amos Adventure or Occasional Adventures on You to the Tube. Yeah. Yep. This train goes down the way. Um, by down the way, I mean it starts here and then it goes westbound a couple of miles and then comes back backwards kind of like a little scenic tour of the area 
they must only run it on the weekends because uh oops because i don't see anybody out here at all like i haven't seen another human being not even a drifting hobo from the rails you can do this because there's nobody out here you can act like a weirdo Now, a man on the street told me you can buy a brick. No, no, no. Not of hash, but literally a brick. You can buy a brick and get it put here. I wonder how much a brick would cost. I may have to look into that and get an Aimless Adventures brick on this little walkway here. What do you think? I'm probably a bit of a dork for thinking this, but I don't care, so I'm going to say it out loud on interwebs. I would like to dress in period clothing and cruise around on a train, like all day, with a whole crew of people dressed in period clothing from whatever time period. Eating the foods. Hell, I don't even smoke, but I'd burn a cigar because I'm that passionate about being whatever you'd call it. Just sharing. You ever heard, don't stand on the third rail? I guess like this is the first rail and then that's the second rail. So this is the third rail. It says don't ever stand on it. Well, I'm standing on it. What now? What now? Check these out. Some kind of rail car. You fit four people on there and you pedal it like a bike and it boogies you down the down the train tracks. These are sweet. Well that was fun. If you don't want to be bothered, come out here in the middle of the week. Cause ain't nobody home. However, if you want to ride that train, hopefully you watch the video and you can see the info that I put on there. And yeah. Go get your ride on. He's bound it down, loaded up and trucking. Are we going to do what they say can't be done?